just get this party started. We're going to start with Marketing Awesome Sauce. Oh, yeah, that's right. That oh, bad. yeah, that's good. Purifier. That's really good. Mark, you're What are we going to talk about on Marketing I'm Awesome Sauce I'm so today? glad you asked. Interesting article, in my opinion, although weird picture of Taylor Swift could be the least attractive picture of Taylor Swift I've ever seen in my life. I love Taylor Swift. Love, love her. Oh, good Lord. Oh, she's so awesome. Anyway, Anyway, so Taylor Swift. Hillary Clinton is borrowing marketing tactics from Taylor Swift, and it's working. Uh, This came about to drop a new album. (laughs) She is. She is. She's going to shake it off, baby. By the Hillary Clinton. That's right. That's right. (laughs) Was something about like going insane or something? I don't know. Uh, I could see Hillary, uh, Hillary Swift, Taylor Swift becoming president in about 20 years. I could totally see it. Uh, this is from the HubSpot uh, blog. HubSpot is an um, inbound marketing software. Uh, would you recommend HubSpot? Mm. I don't know. Mm. If you got an extra, what, $1,000 a month that's yeah. burning a hole in your pocket? You just like, don't know what to do with it. And you don't want to give it to us? it to us? Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Only after then. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, pretty good article, I thought. Uh, it kind of says, what do Taylor Swift and Hillary Commons Clift in... Never mind. They haven't come. <laughs> they both have been seen on the cover of Bogue. They both make times most... Mo- oh, gee, many Christmas. They're I cannot talk. Famous. famous. Oh, and they're both taking pages from the same marketing playbook. Over the past several months, Hillary Clinton's team has been taking note of Taylor Swift's marketing tactics for her own presidential campaign. That's right. The 67-year-old woman is marketing her campaign to President of the United States with the techniques borrowed from a 25-year-old partner. That's right. So what it does you is know, it goes through. talk like that, we can't understand what you're saying. You know what's important? And the I understand. the words are really small on the screen, <laughs> so it's not like they can read along. I, yeah, yeah, I, I can see where you're coming from with that. one of these <laughs> articles that just says that same line over and over again. Did you know that Hillary Clinton and Taylor Swift are famous? Did you know that they're yes. using the same thing? There's a lot of that. And then it goes, but then I thought it was good. So here, uh, marketing play number one, the every man persona. A uh, little sexist there, but whatever. Uh, while most celebrity personalities and lifestyles can seem way out of reach for us normal folk, both Taylor and Hillary find ways to relate to their fans. In Swift's case, she always pushing the image that she's just one of us, especially through Instagram and Tumblr. Well, she posts plenty of celebrity-style photos, like on stage concert and so forth, where she's going for a run and palling around with friends. So, uh, no, I'm fine. I don't need your emails. I already get them. 400,000 emails. It's because they just take all of our emails. Anyways, so let's take a look at Taylor Swift on Instagram, okay? So, uh, do you follow Taylor Swift on Instagram? <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> so here you can see the everyman persona mm-hmm. that yeah. I oftentimes put on that outfit and just start going down to Taco Bell. Yeah, I'm usually I mean, hanging out on that. To buy big yeah. stages are really a part of my life. <laughs> they really are. They really are. No, uh, not just make this up. <laughs> No. Oh, okay. There. There's some everyman. There's, there's an everyman. Okay. There she is with a with a, a nice cake. It looks like a, a flag. Yep. See? There she is. I don't know. Is that her? I don't no, even know who that person is. Uh, there she is on the beach. Uh, you know. She's so just there. being casual. She's that's, like, look at me. I know yeah. I'm famous and doing big stuff and you're enjoying yeah, me. But, that's right. But I also just like to go to the beach. That's right. Oh, look at her. Meow, meow, kitty cat. That is the kitty, kitty cat you ever seen. Damn, look at her. Oh, God, she's amazing. Uh, So at any rate, she mixes it in. She's like, yeah, I'm super awesome, and I control Spotify, but I also float around in a duck or swan. There you go. See? See? Let's look at Hillary. about H. Clinton? Hillary Clinton on Instagram. Now, do you think she has an Instagram? Hell yeah, she has an Instagram. Uh, So here you go. There she is looking Clinton-y. There she is with her coffee. Where is her coffee from? What is that coffee? Murrah. Murrah. I don't know. I don't know. America. America coffee. Uh, There, I think that might be her granddaughter. Beautiful. Uh, A woman's place is in the White House. Isn't that sweet? Oh, because that's going to be our next president in like 50 years. So just just get used to... uh, 
this I'm sure this is a conservative uh, this is a Clinton and just she will be our next president uh, so there you have her there's her new logo a little tricked out do you like her logo yeah that's fine it's okay right um, it's moving America forward that's all we know uh, so you can see look at the throwback probably a Thursday first lady of Arkansas cuter here than that that card that i see at walgreens you ever see the clinton the old clinton uh greeting card they look so dorky but she looks cute there really nice um so there you go oh look little uh little little lego people yeah i get it oh look she made eggs and bacon out of her logo so is this the only thing they have in common uh no I'm so glad you, but before we do that, yeah. and then of course you can see Hillary with Barack Obama. Very normal day in my life too. I mean, duh. So what they're trying to say here is that connecting with people by showing your humanity is effective marketing. Mm. Not just talking about the product all the time. Mm-hmm. Like... Take a picture of your freaking eggs in a in a clever design, mm-hmm. or you know your 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 Fourth of July party or your beach. Like I find that a lot of businesses, B two B businesses in particular, are deathly afraid of doing that. They'll say something like, "Oh, my customers wouldn't want to see that," and to that I say, "Bull crap, bull crappity crappity crappity." Uh, they're humans. Now, when you start selling to the robots. Although I believe, personally, the robots are going to be, like, totally emotional, like, just insane. They'll be so wigged out about their, you know, their state in the universe. Do we really love them? Are we, are we doing a good job? We'll always be having to, like, like, cajole them and tell them they're doing a good job, mm-hmm. you know. You, you, think, you think the robots are going to have no emotion. I think they're going to have all emotion. All the emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to be worse. So, anyways, um... Uh, look at that. Uh, oh, does that a double chin? No, that's a, just a collar. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, please, please show your humanity. That's what I'm trying to get at, okay? Uh, so there is this Instagram video. She posted her attempt trying to peel jumbo shrimp and then totally burning herself. Could be any one of us at the jumbo shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Did you see it? She burned herself on the peeling of the jumbo shrimp. Could be any one of them. Oh, man, that happens to me so often. Then check this out. And then there's this post on her Tumblr in which she responded to a fan's fashion question just as we would one of our friends. Because, you know, one thing people ask of me a lot is fashion questions. Mm. So I like to share my feelings. Mm -hmm. So here is a guy, uh, obviously totally handsome dude. Uh, So prom is on Thursday and I need to know tie or bow tie. And she writes back and says, I like the tie, but honestly, both are great. I just feel like you look like a 50s movie star in a bow tie, but more like a modern movie star in the tie. Depends on what vibe you're wanting to convey, but I'd say the tie. Great suit, by the way. There you go. There you go. 19,000 hearts. There you go. She doesn't just scream superstar, no. Hillary Clinton's been using a similar play in June. She posted her first ever video on Instagram, a roaring rack with a variety of pantsuits in red, white, and blue, along with the caption, hard choices. There it is. Shall we see it? See there? Look at those pantsuits. Clever. The clever pantsuits. 26,000 likes, by the way. Uh, There she is at Chipotle. I don't think she took that. I think that's just the security camera, but whatever. Um, Oh, check this out. Check this out. Hillary Clinton on Pinterest. Granddaughter gift ideas, hairstyle inspiration, favorite moments, and some other things. So here you go. Here is uh, only 4,000 followers at the moment, actually. Uh, Probably pretty new. Only 65 pins. That's not a lot of pins for pinning. Uh, But really cool. Like from the trail. Let's look at from the trail. Okay. Okay. So here you are, here she is with the kid, and the pantsuit, and the letters, and the pantsuit. Uh, always with the pantsuit. Um, there you go. Uh, 
So there's this one here. Look at this. Uh, text HRC to uh, 47246. Do you love texts from Hillary? Now you can get the real thing. Text HRC to 47246 to receive text updates directly from the trail. You're going to do that? I'm, I'm, I don't know. I would do it if Bernie Sanders did it. I don't know. I mean, but don't you look at this and like you start to like her yeah. a little. You, sure. I mean, uh, she's approachable. Yeah, approachable. She's with. She's out on the with the people, and she looks like your mom. Mm. She would, you know, drop like a, <laughs> a, a, you know, like some ten megaton bomb on your house any given second. Mm. Yeah. But she looks approachable. Yeah. You know, you don't mess with the Hillary. That's all. Which also, I got to say, I like. I mean, she's no joke. She's sending over those uh, those drones with the bombs and the blah, 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 and killing terrorists. She's doing that. Not anymore, but I'm pretty sure she did that before. She will have no problem doing that, all I'm here to say. You put that woman in the house, shit's going down. That is what I'm talking about. I have no fear. You go from Barack Obama to Hillary Clinton, the place is clean. I feel it. Anyways. Keep on, I'm, I'm, keep on, keep on trucking. trucking. The shock and awe factor. Both Taylor and Hillary, that's how I like to refer to them, enjoy surprising and delighting their fans with publicity stunts that are a little unconventional, especially for someone running president of the United States, POTUS. Swift's been known to pull these stunts pretty regularly the past spring. One of Swift's biggest fans, Katie Harris, now check this, planned to get married to her now husband in the parking lot outside the concert venue in Philadelphia, where Swift was performing that same day. What a coincidence. Harris posted the unconventional wedding plan to her Instagram account in hopes that it would capture Swift's attention. It did. And what did Swift do? Crash their wedding, obviously. Damn. You know what? I got to say, if I was a bride, I don't need Taylor Swift up in my party. Nope. She just comes in. She just walked in and made it all about her. Oh, damn. Damn. <laughs> Because Rude. I, I guess I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. All I know is that, that guy is happy. <laughs> that's as close as he's ever gonna get. Taylor Swift, and that's closer than I will. So there you go. There you go. Uh, she's been known to send surprise gifts to her social media followers, like the time she sent one thousand nine hundred eighty dollars to a fan to help her pay off her student loans, or when she sent a few of her biggest Tumblr fans early Christmas gifts she picked up from her travels around the world. Don't you love her? Ah, I love her. I love her. <laughs> I'm close. Sh- Team Tay Tay. Did this show get any whiter? Oh, I love her. God, everybody loves Tay Tay. Well, let's see. Uh, over at her house, where she called. Okay, so she invited fans who who called her attention on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr over to her house, where they got an exclusive sneak peek of her album, 1989. Ah! Similarly, clearly, Clinton made headlines a few weeks ago when she signed a "Get Out of School" note, so a nine-year-old boy could meet her at a launch event in Concord. In Concord. So it says, "Dear Mrs. Simpson." I am missing school today because I'm going to meet Hillary Ollie Olson, nine years old. Signed, Hillary Rodham Clinton. Asterix, really? Bam! Bam! You know why I like that? Because she isn't afraid of letting kids get out of school to, to, for important things in the world. She thinks out the box. She's not like, stay in school, kids. She's like, come and see the next woman president, yo! Make history happen. Love it. Love it. Oh, what? Do we have to quit? All right. Anyways, the, the story is this. Uh, be personable. Connect with people. Reach out to them in interesting ways. Like, if you have a fan from your, that like, like tweets, retweets something you said, why don't you send them a little something from your company? Send them a t-shirt. Send them a sample. Send them an airplane ticket. Whatever, you're rich. Just saying. So there you go. That's all it is. That's all. At the end, the result, fans and voters can relate to her because, hey, in the end, she's not so different from them. Well, Clinton's only gotten started. Swift's been using the market tactic for years, and her fans love her for it. I love her for it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and then uh, tell them, uh, staff, tell me Taylor Swift is roaming Capitol Hill. Hillary Clinton, can you confirm we could do a selfie? So there you go. I'm sure they're going to do a selfie together. No doubt. No doubt. 
no doubt. So there you go. Um, what can we learn? Be personable, connect. Be Very a good. freaking human being. Also, yeah. being famous would not be hurt. Wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt. And then don't act famous because that's just silly. Oh. Yes. If you found this useful. Yeah. Or mm. mildly not annoying. Not <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Which we'll totally take. Like, share, subscribe. On YouTube. We, on YouTube. We got another subscriber this week. I know, it's good. We're rocking it, dude. We are rocking it. Uh, yeah, like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. So 